episode of Pop Quiz Pressure is brought to you by Unexplained. Looking through a window can be like looking into the past. The images can't always be explained. In this collection of short stories, the reader will have an opportunity to discover mystery, magic, romance, and even terror in everyday things. This collection includes the award-winning paranormal title In the Window, as well as the romance title Encounter, the general fiction title Our Place, and the psychological thriller What She Lost. Unexplained, an ebook available exclusively at Amazon.com. Hello again, and welcome to another episode of Pop Quiz Pressure. Uh, each month, I search the web for interesting quizzes to take live in front of my camera. Um, I'm sure this is going to be an all-around embarrassing experience for me, but hopefully it will be entertaining for you. This time around, I will be taking Which Classic Literature Character Are You? Again, from Zimbio.com. I'll be trying some other sites later on, but this one will probably be a go-to for interesting quizzes to take. I'll be trying something a little different uh, this week, and hopefully it'll work out. It'll be my new platform for this particular show. So let's go ahead and get started. But first, some rules. Um, number one, um, I will read the questions, and hopefully this time I'll be able to show you the questions, but I will not be showing you my answers. Two, I will show you the results at the end just so you can see what I got and maybe kind of entice you to want to take the quiz also. And third, or three, <laughs> I promise I'm not taking these quizzes ahead of time. I am taking them live, so... I don't know the outcome. It should be interesting. So let's get started. All right, so here we go. Here is which classic literature character are you? And I'm beginning my quiz now. All right, so how do your favorite books look? They are in pristine condition because I treat them like the treasures they are. They are a little ratty, but only because I read them so much. Half the pages are dog-eared, and I've written in all the margins. I have two copies, one for reading and one for looking perfect on the bookshelf. Bah, I hate books. Next question. Where would you most want to live? And here are the pictures. Um, they're interesting. All right, so I need to pick one of these. Okay. How do you feel about the rules of society? <laughs> I try to rebel against them in my own small ways. I respect them, but they aren't always right. Rules are a construct of the man. <laughs> if you can't beat them, use them to your advantage. I'm too much of an individual for these rules you speak of. I love these. All right, so let me make my choice, but I'm not going to show you. Okay, how would your friends describe you? I'm a little scared about this question because I'm going to have to really be honest with myself and really try to think about the way other people see me. So let's see. The options are... Would they describe me as quick witted resilient, honorable, creative, talkative, pessimistic, or enigmatic? Ooh, let's see. Okay, next. Which club were you part of in high school? Drama club, future entrepreneurs club, debate team, creative writing club, visual arts club, Clubs are for phonies. Okay, let's see which one do I what which one would I have been part of? All right, the next one. On a scale of one to five, how much do you let the world see the real you? This is another one that you gotta really be honest about. Um. Okay, so here we go. You witness a stranger being mocked by a group of bullies. What do you do? Jump in and defend the person no matter what the consequences? Make the bully look bad with a few witty remarks? 
wait until the bullies leave, then I comfort the person. Depends on what's in it for me if I help out. Nothing. Hey, every man for himself. I actually like the fact that these are really kind of questions that you would have to consider. What do people do in this situation? I know what I do, so let me go ahead and make my answer. Which party would you most want to attend? And here are the lovely pictures. What's your greatest flaw? I judge people too quickly. I have a hot temper. I get too confused on too focused on material things. I don't play well with others. I can be pretty stubborn. I hate it when people cry. Okay. Let's see. What do you value most in life? Oh, this one should be easy, but let's see. Family, friends, justice, money, love, happiness, independence. This is actually kind of tricky. Because you could value more than one of these, but if you had to choose between all of them, which one would you want to be stuck with? So let's see. Okay, dun da da da! Here is my classic literature character. I am Charlotte from Charlotte's Web. Kind and compassionate, you use your skills to help those around you. You're clever and incredibly loyal to the people and pigs you love. Appearances can be deceiving, especially in your case since you actually use those eight creepy legs to make the world a more special place. I gotta say that is not what I was expecting but um, I like it though. I, I Charlotte is a wonderful character and if that's who I am then I am I'm happy with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and share this with the world. Well I'm not the best test taker out there but that could have been a lot worse. I think I did pretty good. I'm just glad they didn't ask me any specific classic literature questions because that could have been really embarrassing and since I love to read I would have felt pretty bad but there wasn't any of that <laughs> so what did you think of today's episode any questions leave your two com your two cents in the comments below because I would love to know what you think um, I have no idea what I'll be taking a quiz on next month but please come back and discover and enjoy it whatever it may be you can follow me on Twitter sharing your results of this quiz or even suggest another one for me to try. You can use the hashtag quiz pressure and you'll have a chance to be featured in my next episode. Uh, let's see. So next Monday I'll post an episode of my command station and this Saturday I'll be posting another episode of Toy Box Movie Review. And remember, if you're interested in guest hosting or sponsoring a Toy Box webisode, uh, you can just visit etoythomas.com to learn more about that. So, until next time, this is Toy Thomas saying, I think that authors should be just as important to the world of entertainment as music groups and movie stars. See ya.